HP ZBook Studio is a flagship mobile workstation offering top-of-the-range components for professionals wanting the best. The latest Gen 9 model comes equipped with the latest hardware, a 16x10 aspect ratio display, 120Hz standard across the board, Intel 12th Gen processors, up to NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti graphics, and Wi-Fi 6E. Is it enough to keep it on the throne? Let's find out. One of the biggest design changes with the Studio G9 is the move away from the sharp edges and accents to rounded corners along the sides and bottom cover, giving it a premium stylish look. It's still fairly lightweight for a workstation, tipping the scales at 1.73 kilograms or 3.81 pounds, thanks to the military standard rated all aluminium body. The G9 is well put together. It feels solid from the keyboard deck to the display lid, giving excellent protection to the screen. The only downside with the thin curved edges, it's made it difficult to open the display lid with your fingers as there's nothing to grip onto. The ventilation grille in the bottom cover has increased in the G9 for better thermals. Talking of the bottom lid, to open this up, slide the middle rubber foot on the base enclosure to the left and up to reveal the screw underneath. Unscrew the five T5 captive screws and pry open the cover. There are two so-dim memory slots that can support up to 64GB of DDR5 dual-channel RAM. HP have split the removable 86 watt hour battery to accommodate the single PCIe NVMe M.2 Gen 4 storage slot to a maximum of 4TB. This review model has a 16-inch 16x10 4K 3840x2400 anti-glare IPS display panel. It runs at 120Hz with 100% DCI P3 Dreamcolor colour accuracy rating. It shows with the wonderful deep blacks, vibrant colours and fantastic viewing angles, aimed at professional graphics designers or content creators who need colour accuracy. Brightness is rated at 500 nits, allowing you to work in most lighting conditions with ease. The matte panel does have a certain amount of reflection from strong sunlight, even though it has an anti-glare coating. The bottom of the display bezel has shrunk down from its predecessor, giving a thin bezel all round now. The single hinge design doesn't quite go back 180 degrees flat, but you can get an optimum viewing angle with it. On the left side we have a power connector, two Thunderbolt 4 with USB 4 Type-C, 40 gigabits per second signaling rate, USB power delivery display port 1.4, HP sleep and charge, and a headphone microphone combo jack. On the right side we have a Nano Kensington lock, one USB Type-A port with 5 gigabits per second signaling rate charging, one USB Type-C, 10 gigabits per second, signaling rate, USB power delivery, display port 1.4, and a micro SD 7.1 media card reader. There's an Intel Wi-Fi 6E AX211 and Bluetooth 5.2 wireless combo card inside. Wi-Fi was excellent during testing with the 2x2 antennas. Bluetooth was also reliable using a mouse or speaker. The HP Premium Quiet keyboard is full size and spill resistant thanks to the large spaced out keys and good travel. The keyboard is fantastic to type on. It's virtually silent when typing so handy for typing in quiet environments. The backlit keys are extra bright thanks to the RGB lighting available using the HP Z Lite Space app. You can save RGB profiles so when you're finished at work for the day and want a few hours of gaming you can set RGB special effects by waves, colour cycles, intermittent flashing, flickering, video interactive, audio visual tools, environments and other types. The F12 key can be customised to open an application, folder or favourite website. The large glass touchpad has a smooth glide action. It's wider than the previous G8 model, giving a generous amount of space for your fingers to move over. The integrated buttons are fairly quiet and work well with a nice tactile feedback when pressed. The Studio G9 continues the trend with amazing audio from the Bang & Olufsen tuned 4 speakers. The bass has increased from last year's model, now giving 200Hz bass roll off. You can tell, plenty of bass on tap, loud balance sound and warm tones coming from the two tweezers and two woofers. The two main speakers are located on the side of the keyboard and the two woofers have slits either side of the keyboard wrist deck. Here are some audio samples.
The 720p webcam with IR sensors for Windows Hello Authentication has above average video quality, fine for video conferencing and virtual meetings. There's two top facing dual ray digital microphones to pick up group chats. Inside this review model is an Intel i7-12800H that offers six performance cores, P calls, Golden Clove architecture, and eight efficient cores, E calls, Grace Mont architecture. The clock rate ranges from 2.4 to 4.8 gigahertz on the performance cluster, and 1.8 to 3.7 gigahertz on the efficient cluster. TDP is rated at 45 watts along with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 4800 MHz memory and a crucial 1 terabyte M.2 2280 PCIe Gen 4 SSD. The Studio G9 flies through most things thrown at it, whether it's basic office tasks, Adobe Creative Cloud apps like Premiere Pro or 3D CAD. For example, in Adobe Premiere Pro, a 13 and a half minute 4K video encoded in 15 minutes. Benchmarking results also show excellent scores. Cinebench R23 testing produced a score 14,483 multi-core and in single core 1,815. 3D Mark Time Spy results came in with an overall score of 8,893, CPU score of 12,319 and a graphic score of 8,478. 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme overall came in at 4,280, graphic score 4,132 and CPU score 5379. PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 6400. Geekbench 5 CPU benchmark resulted in a single core score of 1743 and 12684 in multi core. The compute benchmark results came in a score of 105918. Superposition resulted in a score of 16,505. The i7-12800H sits between the AMD Ryzen 9 6900HS and the Intel i9 Lemon 900H in general benchmarking results. The dual fan noise is audible and gets loud with heavy CAD or 3D work, but it stays quiet the majority of the time including Photoshop or Premiere Pro work for example. The G9 keeps cool even under heavy load. The vapor chamber dissipates heat out to the dual two-sided vents with curved metal fans. The fans suck in ambient air through the bottom vent grill, cools it down before transferring it to the hot components. Temperatures by the vents are 42 Celsius or 108 Fahrenheit and in the middle 39 Celsius or 102 Fahrenheit. It stays cool to the touch thanks to thermal management. Here's a list of the target audience for the HP ZBook Studio G9. Creative Pros product designers, architects and engineers, data scientists, game and VR developers. This review model has an Intel Iris XE integrated graphics and a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti with 8GB of GDDR6 memory. The 3070 Ti is based on the older RTX 3070 but offers 15% more shaders but less clock speed. In benchmark results, the 3070 Ti sits between the AMD Radeon RX 6600M and the faster Quattro RTX 5000. The 3070 Ti GPU is best suited for Quad HD gaming in max details like Cyberpunk 2077. This game runs smoothly with max details. Same could be said for the taxing Microsoft Flight Simulator and Forza Horizon 5. Both play with plenty of detail at an ultra smooth rate. The Studio G9 is definitely a laptop you can play after hours AAA gaming with ease. HP have a wealth of security features with the Studio G9. HP Wolf Security for Business is hardware enforced security features and layers of security, protecting from a biased level to desktop malware scans. HP's SureClick browser gives you peace of mind when you're surfing the web. Naturally there's a TPN security chip, fingerprint reader located below the arrow keys, IR sensors for Windows Hello authentication and a convenient electronic privacy webcam shutter. The G9 has a 6-cell 86 watt hour battery inside. Battery life was poor, giving 2.5 to 3 hours general use under better battery mode. Max performance and brightness with 3D rendering work, expect less than 1.5 hours. There is fast charging capability with the 200 watt external AC power adapter, 50% in 30 minutes. The good, the bad and the really bad. Hot performance. The combination of the i7-12800H, RTX 3070 Ti, DDR5 memory and PCIe Gen 4 SSD gives the G9 explosive performance. Most applications run like a hot knife through butter. Vapor chamber baby. The effective vapor chamber does a great job with graphics card thermal management, keeping the usually hot running 3070 Ti relatively cool. The same can be said of the processor, considering the compact dimensions of the G9 chassis. Dazzling display. 
The Dream Color panel is outstanding with deep blacks, eye popping colors and 100% DCI P3 color accuracy. It's a joy to use on a daily basis. If you need more razzle dazzle you can always turn on the RGB keyboard. More IOs. Small point as the G9 has a fair amount of ports to cater for most people. Would have loved a SD card reader rather than a micro SD one for content creators like myself and a HDMI port would be nice. Expensive. You might have to decide which liver to donate to buy a ZBook Studio G9. Prices start from 2,159 for the RTX A1000 model all the way up to 3,527 for the Intel i9 RTX 37 Ti model. In the States, models start from $3,000 to over $6,500. Poor battery life. Workstations are not renowned for their battery life and the ZBook Studio G9 is no exception. Less than half a working day battery life at most. A laptop to have plugged in plus performance takes a massive hit if it's on battery mode. If you need better battery life, look at the RTX A1000 model instead. There's healthy competition in the content creator workstation category. What are the alternatives to the HP ZBook Studio G9? In no particular order, here are some to consider. Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 5 Apple MacBook Pro 16 Razer Blade 15 2022 MSI Creator Pro Z16P Dell XPS 17 ASUS ProArt StudioBook 16 OLED The HP ZBook Studio G9 is an exceptional flagship laptop. It's extremely well built and lightweight for a mobile workstation. The quad speakers sound wonderful and the dream colour display is, excuse the pun, dreamy. The RGB keyboard is a joy to use and fun. There were plenty of ports to go around, although I wish it was an SD card reader instead of micro SD. Performance is rocket fueled, thanks to the high end components inside. The good news, unlike some of the competition where the chassis gets extremely hot and the dual fans roar like a 747, the vapour chamber in the G9 keeps everything civilised. The chassis keeps cool most of the time and the fans are kept to audible hum. The optional extras can make the Studio G9 stupidly expensive when the base model is already over £2,100 or $2,400. Battery life is the Achilles heel of the Studio G9. Even with a large 86 watt hour battery, it's very poor. If you don't need the battery life and you have a wad of cash lying around, the HP ZBook Studio G9 is a worthy flagship mobile workstation. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP ZBook Studio G9 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.